government continues to implement measures aimed at softening the socio-economic impact of COVID-19 on the population, especially the vulnerable. Minister for Gender Relations, Honorable Dr. Gail Rigabert, says financing was repurposed to expand the safe house for women and families amid an increase in incidents of gender-based violence. Honorable Rigabert spoke to the issue in Parliament on February 9, 2021. The way we were able to repurpose funding to ensure that we were able to build and expand a safe house for women and families who are vulnerable, especially at a time like this, when many women who are already vulnerable experience even more, we, we are experiencing even more cases of gender-based violence. That was repurposed financing. And gender and gender project that the Canadian government supported. That was money again that was repurposed with a COVID-sensitive feel to it. Are they not aware, Mr. Speaker, that we expanded our bursary facility, our school feeding program, the school transportation program, additional resources to do what? To help St. Lucians? To do what? To help those people who have lost their jobs because of COVID and now find themselves unable to fend for their families in the way that they were accustomed to. Are the members opposite not aware of those measures that we took? Are the members opposite not aware that we have had to engage in additional human resources, whether it be in the health sector or within the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, again, to do what? Because we care, Mr. Speaker. It's precisely because we care that we continue to make those valuable adjustments and injection of additional resources. 